Oh, it was a PL. Why did I second guess myself? Why? I mean, I, I was so you you gave me the eh, and I was so positive. I was like, yeah, base kit's right. There's absolutely no way this is PL. That's dumb. It's just, uh, I mean, he, right. That's what I. That's right, base kid. You better apologize. I've been, uh, I've been kind of, I've been doing all right in the drafts recently. I know it's captain's draft. Dude, if, if this was captain's mode, I'd get destroyed. It's not even a question. Ooh. I, you know. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. I've been waiting for the PL eggs. I know, I know one person that really likes that item Five on this hero. I think remaining. it's Suns fan. He talks about it all the time. I think maybe I'm mistaken. I haven't really seen it that much, so I can't really comment on the eggs for, for PL. I don't get to see too much PL in, in general in competitive games, but I'm into it. I'm into whatever S triple C builds, actually. He's going to have Kaka to back him up, so. For the puck? Mm, the KP PL, question mark. I think they They're... want the, uh, he just wants the puck to be, well, I don't think it's, is it Gyrocopter mid? I think it's Ori mid. Uh, it is going to be probably tiny mid, yeah. I think in either case, the puck probably copes quite well because you can just phase shift the toss harassment or the uh, the homing missile harassment. I guess the... I mean, they can just doppel it, but... The, that's that's what SC wants. So yeah, it looks KP. Like that's what SC is going to get. Yeah, they're not swapping again. I thought they might have, but KP is staying on this fancy Lancer. We got a bathroom break. Not a whole lot of time for, for newbie after playing that full best of three earlier, now into a best of five that's looking to go the distance. Of course, the good news for them is that it's daytime, and for you too as well, my friend. Over here, it is uh, 1 in the morning, 1.40. Not that late yet, but by the time the series end, it ends, it could easily be 5 in the morning, so. Dude, I have to switch my sleep schedule so fast, because Midas Mode is at the end of this week. And that's a European American tournament, so like, this is great. Not that it's really that big of a deal. I've done worse, you know. It's more of the I just got back from Dota Pit, and now I'm casting Chinese Dota, and then I have to go back to an American schedule. So that's the real, the real weird thing is that there's been a lot of casting for me the past few days. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. Okay. Today. We had an interesting GG situation at the end of the game through the last series. And we have figured out what happened. It's been posted on Reddit. People have tweeted at me. I understand the circumstances now as to why the GG happened with LFY. If you want to look, read more about it, you can head over to Reddit. Reddit.com slash r slash Dota 2. The website. That's where the drama is. Or so I've been told. <laughs> That's the that's the that the is the home. spot. That is the, the hot the, spot the of drama. <laughs> You're a fiend. That's where you can get your a fiend on. Actually, there's another home for drama. That's not. It's an American website that you might know. It's very popular amongst oh, American yeah. Dota players. I wonder what it's called. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 north. You know, it's a website for North American Dota. Dota players. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Shout out to any Dota, by the way. Uh, <laughs> a place I used to visit, and I have since not just, visited in a while, actually. Just, do you still have a shirt? Or did you ever? Oh, have I shirt? still I wear that shirt all the time, although it's gotten a little uh, bit okay. too small for me. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, shout out to number one to Spitwad, yep. who I dearly miss. He's a very good friend of mine, for, uh, creator, curator of any Dota for quite some time. Obviously, shout out to Grant, who is a legend over there. But now we're watching Chinese Dota. No American Dota yeah. as we speak. We have Chinese Dota. Some of the best teams in the world. Ivici and Newbie getting top three at Dota Pit. Getting a uh, Newbie rather getting four second at T. I think everybody knows that. There's no real reason to talk about it. But this is a very good series. A lot of highly skilled Dota. A lot of highly um, just really good individual play. And the drafts are the really interesting thing about the series. But anyways, the game's gonna the start. We're gonna get some bounty runes. Ivici will be aggressive as they have a gyrocopter. Mm -hmm. Really strong. Fenrir also is gonna be a bully. Bane is pretty good in the early game, and Mookie will take three auto attacks from him as now Fenrir will back up himself up and away. And how are these lanes shaping up, basically? What are we seeing? Uh, so it looks like we've got the Void a little bit, like, sacked this game. Not really going to be getting too much help. I'm actually a bit surprised that they don't put, like, KP on the Void and Mugi plays the 
uh, the PL. The one nice thing about this situation, and I guess it's the one nice thing about having KP on their team, is that he has played carry in the flat in the past when he was on MVP. Um, he was actually the carry player on that roster. I mean, you can argue that it was Kuo who was the position one, but he was the the safe laner. So he knows his way around uh, this kind of this kind of situation. Yeah. So if anybody's worried about that type of situation, I don't think you should be. It's early, obviously. Vici are going to have a pretty good lane set up for themselves. The tiny versus the puck. Ori is going to, again, we've seen this from the other Chinese players from Silar. Go for the tree grab first, whereas in the American Dota scene, Limp, he went for the toss avalanche combo that you usually see on the old tinies. So, different styles. He is up to six last hits already, which is actually really good. s uh, c kind of having a rough time. Ori having a lot of base damage, obviously. Something to consider. So, he'll have a pretty good start. Getting harassed down quite a bit. SC going to be faring out of salve. Uh, some damage being chucked out down bottom. It's actually Young Eleven on the Phoenix. Yeah, that's the, I guess that's the one thing that we didn't touch on, but this last pick base yes. means that they've actually got the Phoenix as their off laner. Uh, right. Which means he's going to get quite a lot more levels in terms of dealing with the egg. It's not that easy this game. Uh, Vici right. have like the cogs to force people away. They got a nightmare or a grip. Even just forcing your way in against the call down, I think, is going to be tough. Oh, I, I, I also like it because it's a highly skill-capped hero, at least in my opinion, Phoenix yeah. is, where you drop the egg, where you move, where you use your abilities, and I think it makes the a bit Time more interesting for Young Eleven, who's a very highly individually skilled player, who will grab the a bounty ruin in the meantime. So yeah, the last pick, uh, Bane coming out. By the way, I don't know if you know this, I'm sure you do, but uh, Ori, if you can get level 3 grow, you get 40% status resistance. I just wanted to throw that out there, because that number seems really high, yep. but it's a thing. Throwing that out there. I mean, what what status is, is he going to resist? Game? It's true. The, the slow on Spirit Lance. Listen, like, man, I'm <laughs> just saying. All right. <laughs> the silence from Puck, I suppose. That's the. Uh, that's definitely something relevant to him. Game. Uh, what the the Dream Coil and the Dream Coil doesn't get affected, right? Or does it? I'm not sure. It's a good question. I don't think it should. It's an ultimate. I, it's a weird. I'm not exactly sure about the ins and outs of status resistance yet. So don't quote me on it. I just know people are, wow, Moogie's gonna die. The homing missile, Fenrir, the brain staff. I did not think it was going to do that much. Level two homing missile, paparazzi. Woo, the spicy meatball. My God. They're really, really doing some work up here. And Tiny is absolutely dominating the mid lane. 20 and yeah. four to the, uh, about to be, what, probably 12 and two. Yeah, does get that last hit. I think the big reason that they put the puck mid this game is just so that they can make sure that the comes online early and can can have an impact. Uh, it might also be because they've got this core Phoenix and they, they this is probably the best way that they have to deal with it is just to have the puck you know, be able to jump into the back lines, get the lockdown, get the sound, kill the Phoenix before the egg even comes out. Because the core Phoenix should actually be quite good this game in terms of giving them more AoE for the Phantom Lancer. I think that's something that their their lineup had some of, but not a crazy amount. But I think the Phoenix uh, makes it just that little bit stronger. Dude, I've been watching top. Yeah. And homing missiles really good against board, I've realized. It, what, yeah, it's what pretty, are you doing? Very annoying. You can, I, I'm pretty sure you can jump through it, right? And like, trigger that it. sounds right. That but, sounds uh, correct, because you can jump through a lot of stuff as the void with time walk. He might I be hesitant to try, because if he jumps forward into them and then gets stunned by the homing missile, he's going to look like a real clod. So. Exactly. Ooh, clod. That's a great word. <laughs> Shoutouts to you for that one. Meanwhile, mid lane, SCCC needs to be very careful. Like you mentioned, this is a way to deal with something like the Phoenix, but he is getting roughed up in the mid lane. 30 lasted, 6 denies for Ori to 17 and two now 18 and two for s triple c lana has rotated over i think they realize that he's not here they only see young 11 bottom in fact they don't see really anybody now they're gonna find young 11 but uh, they can't really make it go wish. and so s triple c he might not be getting the most form in the world but he he, he really shouldn't die either well, he's gonna get hit by a cleave from ori and the tree grab at level three now it does a lot of damage so he needs to be very careful this is a really interesting build from ori i've seen the like early point in tree grab as kind of the value point but i've never i don't think i've seen it maxed first yet so i guess he's going to be playing kind of farm heavy right by like treads start making his way through the jungle that kind oh. of setup 
Base shift, but he will get tossed up. There's an illusory orb as Triple C cock push, but he's still going to be able to jaunt away. Good effort from Vici, but uh, good face shift to keep S Triple C alive. They will instead move to the shrine, go together, get some health back. Um, remember, the only thing that really changes with free grab is going to be the attacks that you, you uh, yeah. how many attacks it takes before the tree breaks. It's important Radiant's to know bottom that. Tower is under attack. Mm. Yeah, Moogie so might be dead. Pretty much only makes it better as like, a combo slash, but, oh, really is dead. That's actually a sick Not combo. You nightmare him until the homing missile gets there, and then you just brain sap him. He has no way of surviving. Cock is going to get tossed. With Lanham now, the battery salt, the auto attacks, and Ori just swipes him down with his freaking tree. He's level six. He has the one point in grow. Ori already rotating top of the net worth, and Vici have now a pretty uh, nice advantage here at the early stages of this game. Uh, coin. A little bit of nightmare harassment from Fenrir. I don't even know if this is harassment. It might just be a kill. A couple, like, two more auto kill. attacks. Level and two brain zap. zap. There it is. And S Triple C walks over and watches his friend die, and he's like, sorry, I can't do anything. Literally, Bane's too strong in the early game. Yeah. So Fenrir also, I don't have boots. another pick. <laughs> right, S Triple C is just like, okay, well. He even walked up. He's gonna. He's not even in mid lane. He's giving mid to Moogie now. They're switching lanes. They're hardcore swapping these lanes around because Moogie is having a tough time in the top lane. Not that I think Pucky's gonna fare any better. I guess he could phase shift, but it's still gonna be kind of rough. So this is a great start for Vici here in game number three, basically. Oh yeah, all of their lanes are getting pretty good farm. Even the Phoenix has been pressured pretty heavily by this dual lane. Which is hiding in the trees, spamming out the max spirits, and uh, finding farm that way. This this void is oh, doesn't get tossed back. Keep <laughs> not being too cooperative. Or a super scary as a haste rune now. It can go pretty much anywhere. S Triple Speed Dream Quality finally gets boots. Okay. He will have to lose your orb away. He probably will jaunt. Fenrir actually almost gets the nightmare off. It just gets bogged because it is nighttime. On the other side, Young Eleven is trying to be aggressive against Gaka. Here comes the Fire Spirits. The Shrine is out now. He does have Supernova, and they have no real way of dealing with it. And now they do with KP here, but he did just take, excuse me, Icarus dive away, and in fact, now they've found KP. There's the Supernova. They will probably take this down because Triple C is here, and they will. It'll be one point trade. Or he's going to get Dream Cool. He's still hasted up. He has actually 12 wand charges. He'll go for the CP. No way they can cancel this. No Spirit Lance for another second. So maybe Young Eleven getting a little too ahead of himself. But uh, on the other side, Call Down. Faith is going to get chased down. Brain Sap level 2 is available. He will use the Fortune Zen, the Homing Missile will hit. And this is probably a dead face. They don't even need the Brain Sap. They can maybe even think about Diving Cock, who's now in the tree line. But he will drop a ward instead. And uh, VG will get a couple of kills across the board. Early game going really well. All right. Ori, so despite maxing the Radiant's feature, he's actually still just going to be going for, for a Blink Biker build up here. I guess maybe the idea is that the free throw just, or the, the grab just helps him get to his Blink that little bit faster. Yeah, yeah he might be dead. A nightmare comes out. We'll take him down a little bit. A couple of auto attacks. Oh, they change that to Bane, and Fenrir gets a dominating oh, spree. My. This Bane pick has been outstanding. It's a fifth pick Bane pick after they already had a Phoenix. So they said, okay, we'll throw the Phoenix in the offline. We'll have the Bane as a support. And he has really helped Paparazzi open up a can of whoop ass in the stop lane. Like, Newbie are getting crushed up here. Not only that, but in the rest of the lanes as well. Newbie have one kill across the board. They are down 3K in net worth at nine minutes into the game. And Paparazzi continues to harass. Of course, there's a doppelganger around at the KP. They have three heroes top lane just trying to deal with this. But um, Beachy are not going to be caught because they have a ward nearby. And... In the meantime, there's a toss on a Moogie who will be able to use his time walk to avoid any further damage. In fact, get a lot of that damage back. Dash up into Ori, who's very strong at this point. So, Moogie will be able to survive. Now, bottom looking for Young Eleven, the Dream Curl, but the Icarus dive, good waiting rift. Blows him away. S Triple C waited perfectly for that silence to come out. And they will find another kill on Young Eleven. So, those are the two kills Newbie are getting. They're on the Phoenix point of the early. Yeah, that's. It's pretty good. Important that SC finds something here. It doesn't quite manage to steal this entire stack. Nice little rocket player for Lamb. Uh, but this Gyrocopter is looking somewhat scary. I don't know if you've looked at Paparazzi's CS, but he actually has 35 denies. He's been getting utter free farm up here That's at top. That's insane. And he only has phase mask madness, and he actually doesn't even have the mask yet. He's still working on the quarter staff. So. But he will get very big. Speaking of which, Ori is sitting on 1600 himself. Let's try to put some pressure on the tier one tower mid. They have the tree grab. They have the toss to work with as well. But uh, Moogie does have his chronosphere, and they have a couple of heroes nearby. And Young Eleven is going to get caught by it. I think he's dead again. Time dilation, illusory order. No Icarus side for him. No supernova for him. And now Ori is forced to leave. So. 
Bean gets, gets killed again. All right, that's one way to get farmed yep. and get back in the game for newbie. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it's a relatively big commitment, but still important that newbie are, are finding something here. Kaka's just queuing up an Ags at this point, but he is planning for that on the Keeper of the Light. And like we said earlier, I do think that their lineup Radiant's is quite difficult to push into. So the early, go the early game going badly for newbie, I don't think is necessarily... It's not great, but I don't think it's that concerning either because right. they do have quite good late game and good ways to kind of get to that point. I don't, I'm not going to say that Gyrocopter necessarily falls off as we get into the later stages, but um, he is his survivability isn't necessarily going to scale maybe in the way that it, it needs to for him to, to live through these fights. And I've also seen Tiny with a lot of net worth still struggle in the later stages, just getting, like, even with, like, an AC not quite enough to completely fix your armor problems and then you just end up getting right. right click down we saw it happen at salar yesterday or whenever that game was i think it was yesterday yeah i mean he had he had some ck problems but very true yeah there was uh <laughs> the tree throw animation is the funniest thing it's great just it's really laughs it at, at moogie and he's like great thanks for that um but he is top of the net worth i think I agree with you completely. I think it's hard to push into newbie, but I think Vici also really want to snowball here so they don't have to deal with that issue. And they're taking the tier one tower down to the mid lane. They have the Mask of Madness for Paparazzi. I wouldn't be surprised now that they have the Blink Dagger and the Tiny to see them get a lot more involved because they're trying to take bites. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it comes down to it is nighttime now. They're still trying to push elsewhere. KP is looking for Fenrir, perhaps. The homing missile is going to grab. There's the Dream Dreamfoil. They actually miss it on a Fenrir. The call down will come. That is a dead KP. Fenrir was just waiting. Yes, Paparazzi sir. is going to get illuminated. He's taking a lot of damage. He does stick up. There's the Nightmare coming out, trying to save him. Icarus dive, Supernova. S Triple C is going to have to face shift to Lucio. Our boy can't make it out of time. Burns down to the Phoenix. And now Kaka, lucky to make it out alive. He is very speedy on this Keeper of the Light, but still, they will lose two and perhaps the tower along Dyer's with it. Very good rotation from uh, Young Eleven Dyer's and very good fight from Beach Gaming in general. Fender's Bane is Radiant's monstrous. That, that uh, Nightmare uh, on the, on the Illuminate wow. right. is. <laughs> so sick. Now he's found out Fenrir. Oh, now he's found out Faith again. Looks like he might just be dead. Yeah. Hey. So what was Bane has a mega kill streak. What is going on? I did not expect that. I was not expecting uh, a Oracle and Bane to be fighting at the Uber Cliff near a tier one tower at 13 minutes into the game. I'm going to be honest with you. I missed that kill completely. My apologies. That's you why were he walked up. He's. He, he walked up, he found him, he nightmared him, waited a little bit, got a few hits off, earned brain sap. Very, very straightforward stuff, but it's just because this Bane is such a high level. I mean, he's already he's already level 9. He's got Can max nightmare. Imagine if this was the old Bane and at level 10 he could get into Dyer's people's skills damage. That would be actually unstoppable. And, I mean, at this point, he pretty much is. He's got a mega kill spree. Benner, start building it to carry. Dyer's Trust me, it's the way to go. They'll nightmare up some of these illusions. I don't think they, they were going to find anything. They will find the mid-tier one tower. 11, I think, got it. Yeah. Uh, looks like the last hit was given to somebody like... Oh, shoot, Akaka denied it. Denied it? All right, well, whatever. Yeah, look in the, you can look in the, the chat. It's, yeah, it's pretty I, confusing that the, oh, there it is. the kills are... I don't know the, why they don't put it in the same yeah, thing. In, the, in like, you know the event mean? log? Yeah. Exactly. But they could just put they could put it in they both make places, it special. right? It's not like they have to take it away mm -hmm. from... The chat yeah. but anyway they're gonna find lot on the other side dream coil insta tp they cancel it with the chronosphere purifying flames actually healing him fairly well but he's gonna get a loser orb and then bash it by moogie so Bruno committed for a lanham support uh oh hold that thought top lane that's a feed script kp also getting burned down by ori who only has level one avalanche by the way but more than enough damage to secure the kill with the help of fenrir and now he's dominating and the courier is flying in for some specific reason i'm not sure why uh, it's actually spotted by this ward, but there's no way to get to it, so that was fairly interesting. Are fortified. The paparazzi dark cops is has fallen. very big. Gonna have an SNY soon. SC ratting a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna get this. nightmare. Do they fuse grip? No, they just use it. I'm blind. They just use the top. He'll try for an illusion or brain sap. He's got a face shift, but he will go for the TP. It's gonna be close, but Fenrir wasn't there to get Radiant's a lot of that damage. Instead, Faith might be dead. Attack. He does it as a. False Dyer's promise. Tower Might not tower. want to use it. KP is coming in, though. They're really chasing after this. There's the false promise. Supernova coming out. I believe Young Eleven is dead because KP just destroyed it with himself and uh, the help of Faith and a few others. So, Young Eleven, has he died? Is he the only one that's... No, him and then Clockwork has died once. So, 
All right, young eleven. Yeah, okay. he's uh, I mean, he's getting getting pretty keen on his phoenix in some of these situations, but I don't think it's concerning Vici too much overall as they continue to take really good control of the map. They've got pretty much complete access Dyer's to the entire jungle at this point. They'll probably attack. stop. They probably stop farming like this section and just start using the dire jungle. Continue to build up this lead more and more and more. While newbie kind of struggling to do it. They almost have blink on the puck and they are actually attack. looking for something. Radiance bottom tower has mm, Lana might be another solo Dyer's kill. They get off the waning rift. Foul. Battery assault was on first. Illuminate will hit Dyer's up on the Ori. Paparazzi will dodge it swiftly. They're still going to take this tier 2 tower. Now it's Dyer's daytime. They'll blink out with one. Paparazzi is so fast that they can't catch him anyways. Lana, oh, maybe they can. Fortune 10 will come in. Lana's still trying to, I think, just hold on here. And he can hook shot and try to get away, but the coil will break and he'll die because of it. So that is still just a dead clockwork. They will take the tier two tower. In the meantime, PL is trying to split push. Again, they, they do have good light game here and good high ground defense for newbie, but they are getting further and further behind as the minutes pass by here, basically. Yeah, and they're, oh, they do have like, some the more playmaking potential now that they've got the blink dagger picked up on the puck. So next dream coil will probably be a smoke gank. Uh, the Void's also got a chrono Radiant's with his Master tower Madness, so he's attack. contributing. Something to the damage situation, though he might be about to die to a things grip. We'll just do that. They have a ward that saw him move up to the high ground. S triple C has definitely been spotted. And uh, I imagine we'll see somebody get jumped on. It is going to be a chrono counter initiation because Fenrir does throw up the fiend script. He probably dies kill. for this. That's a that's a huge spree that is taken by the puck. That's actually giant. So a mega kill spree taken. How much gold did he get out of that? He is 950 now. That, that is going to help him really get to his veil. He got 400 from the kill alone, so that's pretty nice. Or almost 500, actually. Okay. Yeah, a little, little surprised that Vichy don't just try and, like, five-man down the... I guess maybe they don't even really want to be five-manning too much. Newbie's five-on-five team fight is pretty darn good. And as we've seen, they do they do deal with the egg at least decently for now, given it's only level one. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, Speaking of the egg. Phoenix is dead again. Young 11. He's got Icarus dive. Nope. He doesn't have any mana, no, nor does he have it. It was off cooldown anyways. He yeah, had no, Supernova, but again, no mana for it. So. Damn, dude. They're actually doing a really good job like finding kills for these heroes off of the Phoenix. Now they have a Diffusal up for KP. He's farmed really well. He's actually looking for Paparazzi. He's going for a TP. So nice play there. Um, I think if Chrono's not up, I think Dyer's Vichy can easily fight 5 versus 5, but it, it comes down to kind of that ability is up. They don't really want to fight into the Chrono as we saw previously. Um, a prize! And in fact, they will smoke as three. Fiend's grip is back in 25. Ori has a full echo saver that he just bought. Now he's working at a heart. He'll take a tree. Kaka's going to almost run into lane. Instead, they will find it. Triple speed. Avalanche, good phase shift, though. That might be enough. There's going to be the toss. Echo saver, good nightmare from Fenrir. With the brain sap, that will secure the kill. So even when they miss out on the initiation, they will still get the kill. Now there is going to be the coddle eggs, though. Damage. Newbie, this game is still, it's not over yet. There's still a lot to be done here for Vici to try to finish this one up. Yeah, they're, uh, they, they're, their team fight potential is definitely is through the roof attack. at this point, especially during daytime. Having the vision from the Keeper of the Light to go along with the puck and the void jump, potentially. Even the like, even the Phantom Lancer seeing the back lines. Die but the Phantom Lancer mighty. gets on top of the bane. There's really nothing that Dyer's Fenrir can do. He's had an amazing early game so far, but he may just start to get hounded by Dyer's AP in all these fights. And we'll see him start to, to fall off a little bit. They're going to recall a couple of heroes. They're going to wrap all the way behind. Newbie are still smoked up. Moogie is not. Not that there's... Oh, there was an Observer where they might have scouted out Moogie rotating. In fact, they know there's this no now. Phoenix. Phoenix. He's going to get caught. He does have hookshot, but now out of mana completely as the mana lead comes in. They have the Illusion Orb. He's got the rune drop to keep himself alive. Forces and Illuminate the damage, but he's going to heal up. And they've got the False Promise. The Chrono hits onto three. There's the Rocket Barrage. Now Ori getting caught up. There's the Icarus Dive in. They need a Supernova. They'll drop it down now. A lot of damage being done by Ori. Not nearly enough, though, to get into some of these big kills. If he will use his doppelganger, Fenrir is going to get chased down. He's about to fall. One more auto attack. S triple C will get the job done, but KP is in some serious trouble here. Young 11 and Paparazzi now will choose the Kaka instead. Looks to be a two for two trade. KP now getting turned on. S triple C looking for at least one more. Very low, but he will have to get out. He'll have to blink himself away as he was looking for Paparazzi, who has the Mask of Madness running. Doing a lot of damage. The Sunray coming in. Just going to be healing a Paparazzi. In the end, Despite all of that great team fight potential from newbie, they will still lose the Dyer's fight three to two. And uh, very good stuff. Ori somehow surviving in that chronosphere. Great supernova for Phoenix, but very close fight for both of these teams. Unfortunately, they just can't do that much in the in the chrono. 
right? Like they have a they kind of have a set amount of damage. It's one round of puck nukes plus an illuminate, and then whatever right clicks the void gets off. But his right clicks aren't really doing too much here uh, at the stage, even against the tiny's zero armor. Um, and interestingly enough, Ori is actually just queuing up a heart as the, the well, next item. I am very good. I'm into it. Strength. He's already got a million status, status resistance. resistance. Dude, it's the meme. It continues. Trust me. Hookshot from Lanham as he gets blinding lighted. Now he's out of mana completely and getting owned by KP. But the damage isn't really that high. Well, maybe now it is. They have that coming in. So KP, even with no mana, still does plenty of work with the Fusal Blade. They will take a kill. Faith dies on the other side, of course. So it is a one-for-one -one trade. Um, it is a 7k lead for Vici, but again, Newbie continue to fight back. They still hold on to some of these tier 2 towers, despite there being some plenty of push from Vici. So we're kind of, uh, wait for the next big fight, wait for the next big Chronosphere, potentially, from Newbie to see if, uh, they can turn this bad boy around. He's actually almost got Battle Fury, too, for Moogie, which is a really big, big item for them. <laughs> S Triple C just looking at Daka taking a nap. Yeah, but he'll be, he'll be alright. <laughs> You're not really in it's the like it's night time. You're on your own, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like up. Oh. Uh, can I get some D wards over here? Does Faith realize that there was a ward? That, oh, he, he knows that there's a ward that scouted oh. him. But check this out. This deep, this scroll, young eleven. That was ownage. That was hype. Taka almost had the blind light, which would have killed him if it broke it. Well, anyways. I was just talking about this ward oh. over here. Check it out. Faith is like, how did I die over here? How did this tiny what? find me? And then, uh, Ward's over on this side. <laughs> that's... Oh my god. That's Sentry. Yep. That's, that's, that's sad depressing. Life. That is the sad life. In the meantime, though, Vici will move into the Roche Pit. This will go fairly quickly, actually. Hopper also does a lot of damage. Don't have armor reduction? I don't think so. This gyro is so big. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's almost 13k net worth. Now Ori's gonna come in and help finish this thing Dyer's off. He's got his reaver. He, he, he's actually just going hard. Straight up. I like it. I like it, Ori. I like the mindset that you're in right now. <laughs> My gyrocopter has a ring of a heal. Plus. I have plus two armor. It's yeah, I, I just saw that. I was wondering where that was coming from, and I realized that was under attack. Yeah. <laughs> That's suppressing for Ori. Is it though? I guess he's still unkillable. He's 7-0-2 despite having zero armor. There isn't Dell. really that much physical damage on Dyer's the newbie side. At least not attack. until, like, Moogie picks up another right-click item. And then even yeah. Void does, like, Radiance a, a, a decent chunk attack. of it is magical damage. Magical, yeah, Dyer's time lock. Yeah, time lock. Has fallen. Very true. Uh, speaking of Moogie, he's been scouted. There is that ward there, but I think he knows that he's getting run at. He's actually running down towards the bottom instead of finishing yeah. up the camp. I guess he did finish up the camp, so... Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's just running to push bottom. Looks like he's gonna... He already has a TP scroll. Lana will see me as another flare in four seconds. Go for the blind hook shot. It's your only chance. Nope, never mind. He's gonna go for it just normally. And finds it easily because he has the cogs. Or rather, the flare to work with. He'll time walk away. They have the Fiend's Grip. Moogie is dead one way or the other. Good attempt death trying to elude capture, but Fichi will end up finding and killing him. So, 10k advantage now. That'll get Ori closer to his Heart of Crass. In fact, very close. Give him all the last pop rights. Come on, man. You don't need any more for him. I want, to, I want to see this. I want to see how much status resistance he has with the... He's also not too far away from 18. So. I'm not going to show you guys until he gets to the heart because I really want to see when he gets well, to the heart. Well, no, so. don't, don't show him until he gets level 18. Dude, that's, that's oh, true, true. All right, we'll keep it. No, I, I, I can't. Yeah, that's, no, I can't. Too much of a tease. I, I, uh, I think so. He's got 21% status resistance now, which seems... Yeah. Mm, correct. He's going to gain another 10%. From a Dyer's point and grow. I think it, it's not including his grow, right? I don't because he's supposed to have thirty. I, I don't know how this works. Don't ask me. Oh yeah, that's true. What what is his total? Status? I think the tool tip is bugged, or it just doesn't. It doesn't include, include the, grow the talent aspect of it. I presume. So, 50 so that, that's how much then. he's getting just from the strength. Oh my right. word. <laughs> yeah, mean, it's kind of insane. Does it does it stack additive? Oh, uh, good uh, question. I don't know. I These are the questions know. I should be asking you, not you should That's be asking. That's true. Me. I should I should know this actually. Not really. This is a newly implemented first of all, this is like that is resistance is an enigma, honestly. Who knows what it does? That's not true. Everybody knows what it does. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. Ori is sitting right now, he's level seventeen, he's gonna have level eighteen suit, forty percent status resistance, not to mention he gets a lot of bonus damage from the gold, or rather the grow, he also gets attack speed reduction, but that's fine. 
Uh, Young Eleven will survive a gank potentially bottom. He Acres dived away from Estral. He did not use the Druid Coil. Decided against it. I don't think he was there in time. Newbie will push together bottom to try to take a tier two tower. Well, Ori will threaten to push into the high ground of the tier three as he has his Aegis and Heart. So you need to be very careful if you're a newbie here about how you play this next few minutes. They are just kind of playing together, relying on the Caudal Vision while they farm up the, the Radiant Jungle. But they Radiant's are very far behind. Tower is under attack. I feel like as soon as we see a big contribution from Young Eleven in a team fight, newbie probably Dyer's just wipes top out, tower right? is under being, attack. That a little bit of a quiet game on the whole but uh just, all it's gonna take is like one good phoenix ulti for this game to right potentially completely end yeah i don't think his play i mean despite him dying he's done a fairly good job still kind of splitting up the map as well uh or he had 20 percent status resistance when he got the level 18 so that's obviously the tool tips bugs it only went up by one percent since he picked up i don't know i don't know if he went strength touch or something but uh, he has plenty of status resistance. Don't let this tooltip fool mm -hmm. you. There's a lot yeah. there. I mean, and, the, the uh, problem is, is that the only two things that you could stack status resistance with are Grow and Yund. Those are the only two sources. Outside Double of strength. Damage. Right. So, it's like... Yeah, I don't know. He uh, He's going to DC, though. He will uh, be back, I'm sure, momentarily. You've got some. You've got some time here, buddy. Oh, he's reconnected. Just kidding. You don't have any time. <laughs> like, I don't have to do math. Woo! All right, there's a 15k lead for Vici Gaming, which seems like a lot comparatively Radiant to what they've scanning. had over the past few games. And uh, they still have yet to take these tier threes. KP is starting to get a little big, which is a bit disconcerting. Now they're going to wrap here. They have a Chronosphere ready. But no, Mookie's not here, actually, but they'll still find Lanham. I mean, he gets blown up instantly. I'm surprised they didn't bring Mookie there. I guess he was pushing top, but what if you find different heroes instead of just Lanham, and then you just want a Chrono? I don't know. Radiant's top tower has right. like fallen. 2k swing right there, just from that tower and the kill on the clockwork alone. Well, they have now. Yeah, bot I mean, they're still newbie's still making nice, you know, making pretty nice plays, uh, doing everything that they can to kind of keep Vici at bay. This is this is again very reminiscent of what we've been seeing across this whole series and across all the games of Captain's Draft between these two teams. Newbie very much playing keep away, trying to play for the lanes, and Vici just trying to find that perfect opportunity to get the pickoffs that they need and and keep their early game momentum going. Yeah. I mean, really, split pushing is the only way Newbie's staying in this game at this point. Uh, Paparazzi will get a lose your orb, but he's fine. Manly can finally wear off. They will keep the Coddle out. And the homing missile will continue to chase him, but. Where's this thing? Here it is. Go, homing missile, go. Got him. That was important. All right, Lana's going to try to chase it from Faith, who is alone. He has false promise, but mid lane, it looks like they were trying to find KP instead. She was guard up. Young Eleven has found it, but where's the fall? That is a lot of damage from that summary. Young Eleven is about to solo kill KP. He will just narrowly survive. Young Eleven with Sunray did some serious damage there. If only he had Ori or anybody else. Meanwhile, bottom, Lanham has found Faith, or rather, they found Lanham. He will hookshot himself to the creeps, but there's the Dream Coal to follow up the Illusory Orb. They're going to try to turn this fight. Ori, Avalanche coming in. Dagon, Lanham is still alive. Fiend's Grip, that'll be up on Namugi. He's in trouble. He's down. 66 seconds on the sideline. Ori now will turn his attention towards Faith. The Nightmare will come in. There's the Brain Sap. They also Supernova on the backside just in case. It's a double kill for Ori. As Triple C will be able to jaunt down to the low ground, or rather to the uh, trees here the south and then gets recalled back by the coddle in the meantime paparazzi will try to chase him down or rather just push in the mid lane but it is going to be a two for one trade that definitely favors vici in that regard yeah, very nice for vici to just get over there so quickly did, also did you see how short the duration was of the oracle disarm on the tiny I don't know. <laughs> no. it, it lasted like no time at all it was it was very interesting um i don't think it was a hugely Radiant's impactful thing in that fight under but attack. uh ori very scary, and he's now finally going to be picking up some armor in a second, as he does almost have the AC completed. So he's going to be very hard to deal with. The gyrocopter is going to be made even tankier. All that flat cannon damage is going to be amped up even just that little bit more. AP's item progression still pretty, 
pretty mad. Radiant's it's gonna have a mantis suit. It's nice, but not exactly completely game changing. And it feels there like is old school rat though. They're really like they're really bringing him around the map, I'll trying to me. find split push. Like they were cutting yeah. the creep waves to go for it. See, I like the ideas of newbie, but it feels really disastrous right now. There's zero words on that. Well, there's one now. Uh, both both teams are going to get their supports out there and, and try and get some vision down. Part of that's because Fenrir does have a gem picked up, but they've been able to de-ward newbie pretty effectively, and that's why they're going to play such safe wards or wards that are you know super safe against gem. Uh, putting them all the way up on the high grounds and non-obvious places, but they just need any little bit of vision that they can get to keep fueling this split push. Yeah, the meanwhile, they just put down two aggressive wards from beach, realizing there's still no gem up for newbie. These are so. Let's get the enemy jungle warded up. Let's get the enemy lane warded up. The enemy mid lane, that is. So, yep. Newbie, they're making their home bottom, essentially. They're trying to keep pushed out as possible and force Vici back at some point in the near future. By the way, Rosha is up. So, if you're looking to try to finish this game, if you're Vici Gaming, I think that's probably your next option. We'll damn it, the case. Damn it. I mean, it's still the same story as the. Like, this this whole game and kind of the series. Oh, they've jumped in. They found us. Oh. Well, He's gone. Sure. He died pretty much instantly, didn't he? Yeah, no, no chance to react really at all. The, the like the Avatos combo did a ton, and then the the follow up with the double hit. Top they top found Benfer. This is the gem if they can find it. But they're gonna have the blinding light. The Yule Spear will come out. Gem, I think, is picked up by Moogie. He's gonna try to time walk away. He'll go for a TP. Uh, there's the hook shot though. Another time walk is like huge. Maybe he survives this. Nope. It was a good effort, but he will lose the gem that is picked up by Lanham, So. It was a good try oh, for, for UV, but he finds faith. He's looking. He's gonna blink up. Faith will juke him as he hits back down to the lane, or he's gonna see this. He's gonna walk right into a Madeline cross combo and dead. <laughs> Didn't body even hit the ground. Before. Exactly. He's dead before he even hits it. So Roche is up now. Three heroes. There's absolutely no reason BG don't take Roche. Uh, unless they want to try to just push high ground and force it a buyback or something with the void dead for 38. But I think they'll rather face than survive. They will take the Roshan. Gyrocopter is starting to build into that next item. That's Satanic. And uh, things are getting a bit dicey. Well, have a bit dicey for newbie. I'm not really sure how you deal with HPs other than which is the only thing they can't do in the past about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Roshan has fallen into the Radiant. Their heart as well, or he has decided that he is not unkillable enough just yet. It's like he's building like he's a sensor, honestly. This is a yeah, sensor build we saw of, the other day. It's yeah, almost, kind of is. Except for the Echo Saber, pretty much the same. Vici just do not have do not have the damage. And oh, I see Nightmare Dam bot. They got a TP There's coming in. Now the group. Rocket Barrage, Paparazzi will take him down. My time. And I would imagine now Vici are going to really try to pressure and force a buyback here. If they can, that is. I mean, they they could wait for nighttime if they really wanted to, but I don't think they are too concerned. Like you're saying, forcing the buyback would be great. Young Eleven just working on a hex. Uh, both teams kind of Flare. You know, they'll be continuing to try and grab. Still pushing items and trying to play for this late game where the void somehow becomes a six slotted monster and like kills two or three people in the chrono and uh, Vici. Doing everything that they can to shut down the rat. Buying Boots of Travel, which is an amazing anti-rat item. All right. Uh, they're going to get a Hex on the Phoenix. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it feels like you're kind of running out of time for newbie. It seems as if they, they just don't have much left in the tank. Whatever euphemism you want to use, probably applicable here in terms of not having much left in and they will have paparazzi get manly he's actually forced in pretty far he doesn't have a cheese there's the chronosphere he is going to take a fair bit of damage but they need more good nightmare save moogie pops the bkb paparazzi still has the cheese to work with there it is the supernova on top faith has cheese false promise on himself moogie has to time walk away hook shot lanham is in deep meanwhile i'm sure ori is taking your top lane of racks with no issue in fact he's taking tier three at first they now have to rotate over there is no more chronosphere yes you got the cheese but uh, in the meantime, they're still dealing with Fenrir, who's in the back lines. Lanham has a spirit vessel on himself, for God's sakes. 
Venerable will throw Dying up the Nightmare aggressively onto the Takaka. Off. There's being people to come out as well. Level 18 for the Vanda. He get the Hex onto Faith. They really want the Steer through in the bottom lane. And yeah, they might find it, but more importantly, they're going to find the Rax top lane, it looks like, as Ori is just going to work. He has Aegis. He has Heart. He's going to take the melee Rax down. One more auto attack will do the job. He was regenning for a moment there. Now he's going to get Mana Leak. They might be able to get the Aegis. Can they get anything else is the question. The rest of his team is right behind him. Here comes the call down. Top Rod's going to walk up. He's a little bit low in HP, but the Sun Ray will heal him back up now, along with the Spirit Vessel if they have it, although Lanham is still a little ways away. Young Eleven has the Shivas coming out to Yules. No Supernova. He's in trouble. Icarus dives off cooldown as rather on cooldown as well. They will get the Hex off under the Void, but he will be able to time walk away in time. KP trying to man fight. They're actually doing some serious work here. But not enough damage is being done to Paparazzi. Finally, with that triple seed coming in, they will get the kill. Now three dead. They're looking for a fourth. Lana is the one on the run. He does have a plate mail along with a smoke if he can use it. But he's going to get dream pulled instead. They'll turn on him. He'll get dropped down. Purifying Flames along with a double kill for a triple seed in the Illusory Orb. And they hold. I, I don't know if you can really count that as a hold because they lost their melee racks. But they do get a couple of kills for Newbie and Waste the Aegis as well as the Cheese. Yeah, that, that fight was, I think, pretty good for for Newbie. No buybacks used. The tier 3 bottom is still up. It, it's low, but still up at the very least. And the gem also claimed by Newbie. And that was with, yeah, it was with the cheese used from Vici Gaming. Uh, we are starting to see a little bit of a problem, or at least one of the key differences between having Tree Grab and having the old Aghanim Scepter, which is... Tree Grab actually costs mana, and if the Phantom Lancer is just ooming you and, and kiting you around so that you can't actually get over to the trees, it's very difficult for Ori to, to deal with. It took him forever to kill the, the top tower. Nicely done. Blinding Light will come out. I'm not sure they can keep him alive. Very good false promise there, along with a force away from Kaka as they saw the Tiny coming in. And now Ori's out of mana, just like you mentioned. And here we go. Hook shot from Lanham. There's the Cogs. Faith is in trouble. No more false promise. Down for 20 seconds. He will give Glimmer Cape. They'll drop a Sentry. Good Chronosphere. They'll find Young Eleven and Fenrir, but they're only doing damage to Fenrir at this point. Young Eleven's still in trouble. They're going to have the Glimmer Cape coming out. Fenrir will survive just a moment longer, and he gets Spirit Vessel. They will pop the Supernova as well. Lanham now in the back lines, trying to help out his, of course, Phoenix. Ori still out of mana. That Icarus dive range is crazy. Young Eleven comes out of nowhere. They get a kill on Faith. They're looking for Kaka. He's going to make it out. No, the Yule Sifter comes in just in time. The Cog pushback is there. It's a double kill for Ori. And the gem gets dropped in the deck. And no buyback for either of these supports. And you're fighting without Chronosphere as well. And Ori will finally get a tree to work with. And go to town, perhaps, on one of these buildings. In fact, bottom lane. That's gonna be it. Dyer's bottom tower has SC fallen. trying his best to Dyer's cut mid, but top's already been pushed in, so backdoor protection Radiant's disabled. We're gonna take full advantage. And that might be the beginning of the end. Not much else they could do. They will have Dream Coil Radiant's off cooldown in a moment. Aegis is finally attack. gone. Ori's back to full HP and mana, but Confusal Blade will start going to work with KP. Tier 3 is going to be taken down. He's trying to take down Young Eleven, who has an Icarus dive, so even if he gets caught, he can still get away more than likely. He also has a Hex. He's trying to bait something out, it feels like. The Spirit Lance is coming in. He will finally Icarus dive away and just making so much space for his team. They might lose the Courier. They'll shield it as it's coming in. They will lose KP on the back lines. Young Eleven actually hexes him and brings him down, so... Good step there. Dream Quill on the paparazzi. He has the Satanic back up to full HP Radiant's almost immediately. BKB is popped. Backdoor protection will not save you from a tiny. Or maybe it will. It's going to get pretty low at the very least. The, the cooldown will go along with it. They will finally get this Rax. That should be Megas, I believe. And it is. And now SCCC will try to jump in. But too much damage coming in from Aura and the rest of the crew. Lana might get dropped. He's a little bit low in HP. Mugi jumping in. He has his Chrono back in three. Purifying Flames will do the job in the Lana, but I don't think they really care. Ori will cancel his TP. So will Fenrir. Toss coming out. Ori might be in some trouble. Fenrir is the real one that's getting chased down. And the Black Cannon comes in for Paparazzi trying to save his Bane. Bane has break. Except not enough mana to use it though. They're looking for Kaka. They will find him. There's the Chrono now under two. The buyback into the Bane. They're really trying to finish this game off. The Supernova comes out and Mugi has to back himself away. And now the Chrono is down for nothing. Mugi gets hit up there. It's going to be the Hex now under KP. He's about to die back. That'll do it. GG is called. Vici Gaming, they've pretty much had the lead from the moment this game started. Radiant and they victory. took a little while to get the game done, but boy, did they. 38 minutes in, a 23k advantage. Vici Gaming looks fantastic here in game number three, basically. Yeah, and the newbie draft just worked, like, ended up being maybe a little bit weird. I guess they tried to grab some more split push with that last pick, EL, but ended up being that KP didn't really have too much of an opportunity to make plays because of his hero. They did kind of.